Hey everybody, it's me. Um, this is just a basic quick little update about what's been going on in my life lately. Uh, I've been here in California for less than a month now, and so far things are going really pretty well for me. So just to let you guys know what I'm doing, I've got a little marketing gig for a biofuel company. That's really cool. I'm signed with an entertainment agency for my photos. What they do is they send me out to these events like openings or red carpets or whatever. Yeah, my background is in project management, but a lot of people aren't hiring project managers because no one's really working on new projects at the moment. But I was lucky enough to secure an amazing perfectly built, just for me, salaried position at a production company where I'm doing off-camera work, behind the scenes, on the sets, and on-camera work as well. So that's kind of different for me. I'm, I usually don't get dressed up all the time. I'm, I don't know, I'm pretty comfy in my Buddy pajamas or, you know, jeans and t-shirts and stuff like that, but, you know, it's, it's fun playing dress up every now and then, so that's definitely different for me, um, but I'm getting used to it. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, traffic is killer here. It's really, really bad, like, depending on what time of day. It could take me 20 minutes to get to my cousin's place in downtown Los Angeles, or it could take me over an hour plus, depending on how traffic is. So it's really hard for me. I hate being late for things, and now I have no idea how to gauge how traffic is going to be or how long it's going to take me to get anywhere. Um, oh, yeah, speaking of Tatum, oh my gosh. I went to her place. She's got this amazingly adorable loft in downtown. It's just, it's everything I expected it to be because Tatum is fabulous, you know? And the lobby of her loft is all marble. It's so beautiful. It's so awesome. Except there's a bunch of homeless people kind of hanging out around outside. And I'm, I mean, it worries me because she walks four blocks to work, and she works in the evenings, and then she's got to walk back home, and I'm like, what? I wouldn't do that. Um, <clears throat> what else? I have stuff going on. Oh, I'm shooting. I'm shooting for a couple of different sites now, and I'm really excited about that. So I'm able to really, like, flex my creative muscle because it's not just shooting what I want to shoot when I want to shoot it with whom I want to shoot it. I've been, I've been shooting for a really, really long time, mostly just TFP and things like that, but it's starting to be at the point where I can pay models and I'm getting paid at the same time. It's, this is my dream, y'all. This is what I came out here for. This is what I'm doing. It's pretty amazing. Um, it's just, the universe is kind of sucky sometimes because I finally have the opportunities that I want selfishly, but my home and my family and my friends are literally a country away, and it totally sucks. I mean, I remember when my best friend Mess was living out in Hawaii, and she was talking about the time difference. She couldn't really keep in touch with her friends and and family and stuff like that. And it's like, damn it. It's so, it's true. It sucks, you know? So I'm here. As far as personal time, I haven't really gotten a lot of that yet. So I haven't really learned exactly the layout of my neighborhood quite yet. Um, like, I, I have no idea where the bank is. I have to go find one today. I have to find a post office. I did go grocery shopping. That was cool. <laughs> um, so I felt quite accomplished after buying groceries for the first time in my new place. And um, I'm doing laundry as we speak for the first time <laughs> in my new place. Luckily, I, I brought enough clothes to where I could wait until this long to do laundry, but now I've got a whole mess of it to do, and I hate laundry. It's like the worst thing in the world to do. 
Um, I haven't quite set up any specific places in the house for um, a set or a studio, but I will be shooting tonight. Um, so I'm really excited about the idea of making new friends because that is kind of hard for me. I'm really shy. I, I don't really just go up to people and I'm like, hey, how you doing? You know, I'm Nikki, what's up? I don't really do that. So um, everyone has seemed to be really approachable and for the most part people come up to me and they're like, hey, aren't you Nikki? Don't you take pictures? And I'm like, yeah. Um, Ken Marcus is an amazingly talented, kind of glamoury, sort of erotic -y sort of shooter. He's done mainstream stuff too, but his, his lighting and his composition is just ridiculous. I met him at a convention this weekend. And, you know, my friend introduced me and like, hi, this is Nikki Nefarious. And he's like, Nikki Nefarious? Wait a minute. Are you on Model Mayhem? Don't you go by another name? And I'm like, yeah, I'm Altered Aperture. And he's, he's like, oh, wow. I've heard of you. You're great. So I couldn't talk for a minute. I was like, the <laughs> fanboy squee. You know, Ken Marcus knew who I was. It's pretty neat. It's hard for me to you know, to put myself out there as an artist. Um, I'm having to do that now. I literally don't have a choice. That's the only way to make it here, is to just get out there and be all over the place and be everywhere. And it's so foreign, completely foreign to me. Like, I don't even ask models, hi, would you like to shoot with me? I used to piss off some of my chick friends back home because they thought that I didn't want to shoot them, but really it's like, you know, you're pretty. I'm too shy to ask you because I'm so afraid you're going to say no. I don't want you to shoot me because your stuff sucks and your shit or whatever. Now I have to ask people. I'm doing casting. I'm casting. I'm casting for, you know, other sites. So I, I'm, that's part of my job. I have to do that. Right now, I'm doing pretty good as far as my personal stuff is concerned, but it's hard being in a new place. I'm not going to lie. It's it's hard. I don't even... I mean, it'd be one thing if I had um, Josh or Mia out here with me, or if I had like a an old friend, you know, that I was already close to out here. I have new friends, and they're amazing. And I've known some of them, you know, online for quite a while, but it is different. It's it's really, I feel lonely, especially at night, and the, and the fact that I mean I'm a homebody really. I like to go out. I like to have a good time, but it's not something that absolutely drives me or absolutely motivates me. So, so I haven't really gone out a lot. Um, mostly just to people's houses to hang out and. I kind of prefer that anyway. You don't have to shout over the music and stuff like that. Maybe I'm boring, I don't know. Things that have been on the cusp of my life that I've always done kind of as an aside, as um, a plus to my regular job, you know, life, what have you, and it's kind of now coming into the forefront, which is different. I mean, it's really different. I've never really, like I said, I've never put myself out like this before. So we'll definitely see how that goes. Um, but my personal journal, I actually have one on live journal. And it's Rooney. I, um, my name's Nikki. And as a kid, my family, um, my aunt actually started calling me Nikki Rooney because of Mickey Rooney. But yeah, so it's under Rooney. And it's live journal, and that's where I just bitch and piss and moan. And but it, you know, some of my friends just don't like to read. Some of my friends just don't have time to read. So for those guys, here's your video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I don't know when I'm gonna do another one because I'm ridiculously busy. And I just got off a set. I'm just about to go shoot another set. So. Uh, we'll see how life is, but for those of you guys that don't like to read, here's your video update. Bye, everybody.